guy here and this is the 40 foot lizard flatbed auto loading bale trailer by mac trucker 921 on farming simulator 22 it's for all platforms pc mac and console i'm on ps5 here on rock crawl for this demonstration and test of the newest trailer from mac trucker 921 now this is 12.05 megabytes to download 10 slots on console we have numerous configurations and options for these trailers i have one of each configuration set up here and we'll go through them one at a time but before that we'll find it in the store under tools and trailers and almost all the way to the back there is only one of these and it will do everything if you notice the price twenty five thousand dollars five hundred is quite reasonable for what you get capacity is seventy seven thousand nine hundred and twenty up to a million liters we'll talk about that and show that bale size 125 to 238 centimeter round bales non-liftable so these are standard uh, bale weights if you can say that the 120 to 490 centimeter bale sounds like a heston bale there because that's an odd number for a square bale but it is not liftable um bale sizes um right it gives lots of information on the um mod description about each one so if you want to read through that i'm not going to go through each of those however uh four, 14 mile per hour working speed i'm not sure what that could well we'll get to that uh, it is also a animal trailer, 15 cows, 64 pigs, 56 sheep, and 15 horses. Right, so let's get into it. <clears throat> Body configurations. There are plenty of them to go through, so we will go through them one time. Flat frame. We have flat fra frame, and the ramps go away, but you have a rear ball hitch or a rear pin hitch. Then you go to the gooseneck frame with the ramps and the ball hitch and pin hitch. Then we go to auto load bales with the ramps with rear ball hitch or pin hitch. Then we have auto load bales with a gooseneck with, um, with ramps and then a pin hitch or ball hitch and pin hitch. And then we go to the tipper body uh, tipper body, rear hitch, pin hitch, gooseneck, rear pin hitch, ball hitch, forks, same thing there, gooseneck, same thing. Again, you get the idea, enclosed trailer, and then a livestock trailer with the gooseneck, and finally back to the flat frame. So in the flat frame configurations, <clears throat> we have wheel, wheel brand brands, which will work for all the different configurations trailer borg Vertistein, lizard we started with lizard let's start with lizard bkt continental michelin midas nokian trailer borg Vertistein, lizard lizard we have standard we have three two so we have two three and four axle versions of all the tire types within each brand so it does not change so we're just we're got, we're not going to spend a lot of time on that ramps yes or no so you can delete the ramps off of the flatbed trailer if you want we have natural wood or wood stainable if you choose the wood stainable option you can change the color chassis color we have all the wonderful colors you'd expect uh, from Mac Trucker wood stain color we have a whole bunch of colors none of them chrome which is understandable and a thousand dollars to change the color there rim color again many 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 choices let's go with orange and a license plate right so let's Let's demonstrate and talk about the flat deck trailer first, and then we'll then we'll work our way through each of the um, <clears throat> other configurations and show you how they work. The flatbed trailer is sim fairly simple, as you can see. I have another, and we are attached to the 
Uh, oh, I see. That's why my straps. Uh, that is the R3. There we go. So undo the straps. For some reason, the straps are very encompassing. They have strapped down the trailer beside it. There we go. Straps. So, what is going on here? L1 and X unfold the ramps. Like so, excuse me. And R, R1 and R3 tension belt. Sorry, tension belts. Let's get in there. Tension belts, right? L1 and X fold the ramps again. We might as well, oh dear, sorry about that. We might, as well, we might as well look at the lights. If we can, uh, hold on, there we go. Right signal is not a whole, that signal does not look very, there's reverse. Let's turn off the lights. There we go. There's a, oh, I see. It's kind of like a sequential with the two signals. Kind of neat. There is now, why did it do that when, oh, it's, uh, we have a list. Not a list of good, uh, a list as in we're listing to the. Right. Okay. That's, uh, that was unexpected. Well, that was pretty much all there was to it. That's very weird. Um... Right, that that was there's uh, there's let's go let's move on to the bale auto load bale version. Um, I'm thinking this is going to need a bit of an update, anyways. Okay, back into the trailers and the auto load bales. We're we're not going to gooseneck auto load bales, so we can have the auto load bales with the ramps if you want. The ramps to move to make it, um, you know, useful as well. Otherwise, just as for bales. But anyways, bales. All the same other options there. There's no other options really aside different than the flat deck. So we're not going to spend time looking at that. Here we have the bale trailer. I have already bales on there. Let's move this out somewhere safe uh, you notice that the turning radius is somewhat limited uh, at least with this um, I would suspect if you put a draw bar on there you would be able to increase your um, maneuverability or if you go with the gooseneck the gooseneck always gives you a much better turning radius just the way the hitch is set up but anyways uh, Yes. Right. Uh, to, to, to L1 and R1. We didn't go to that yet. L1 and R1, we have raise and lower pintle hitch. So if you have the hitch style on there, left and right on your D-pad will adjust the height of that hitch. Very nice. If you have the gooseneck... <clears throat> sorry, if you have the gooseneck attachment, there is also raise and lower the gooseneck with the L button left and right okay now we have we have bales on there we're we're in transporting position um, I we're just gonna unload them L1 and triangle and then you have to go over to R1 and L1 and L1 and R1 that's where you get to move your bales around with your right stick and it is a little bit not as use not as 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 I'm used to. Um, let's see here. Triangle again. There we go. Okay. So L1 and triangle reset. Now we're ready to load bales. Let's come on and take a fresh swipe at it. And as you can see, we're trying to turning the turning radius is not great with this hitch setup. So just be aware of that. L1 and square operating position. We are now ready to pick up bales. If it's telling you that those bales are not supported, well then you cannot pick up those kind of bales. These are the bales I bought from the store. Base game square bales. Now we have them all loaded. 
if you can uh, you can activate the straps but they won't activate until you actually unload unload here now you can strap them down but then you won't be able to auto unload so reset operating it will do this fancy dance here and now we're ready to whoops there we go now they're all loaded okay how do you unload them let's go through that one more time l1 triangle now it's ready to move r1 and l1 and right stick left is right right is left it's a real it's kind of backwards but anyways now let go of everything and then l1 and triangle again and there we go the bales are down uh, that as far as i can tell are all the adjustments you can have with the bale loading or auto load bale trailer so next i'm going to set up the logging trailer all right so let's zip back in there and just take a quick look at the log trailer configuration which we have set up next and there we go we're just going to zip over to the logs There we go, log trailer, we have the ball hitch and the pin hitch option. Uh, chassis color, we're just gonna switch that up to yellow so you can see that, and the log fork color, you can change that, and the rim color. So there you go, that's all the options for that aside from the other regular options. I put a couple of logs on there. Uh, yes, I have changed the tractor, there we go, there are the straps. And I've sold the other tractor that has straightened out. It was seemed like there was a bit of a conflict with that Kloss tractor somehow. This one, as you can see, this tractor has a much better turning radius, not restricted by the, uh, I think it was the style of the Kloss tractor that was limiting the turning radius. So that was kind of hindering. So that's your log trailer. It is not auto loading not on console this is the crossplay mod version of it so on to the next configuration we're actually going to start off in the store with this one that's the um tipper body configuration and we have a few different options here we have the wood everything up there is the same uh wheels and so forth wood natural or stainable that's the top piece there so we're going to go with stainable cover no or jet black so the cover you choose a color here and there are quite a number of colors there is an endless amount of colors and you can scroll through them i don't know why it was done this way it's taking it takes an enormous amount of time to scroll through them so yeah that's how you pick the color for the cover i would actually recommend not putting a cover on it for the reasons i will show you in a moment now i don't even know how many colors there are Di tipper discharge speed now this is interesting and i've never seen this option before and i like it we have standard we have discharge speed times two times three and times four now the reason for that is we have several different capacities so if you go with the standard discharge speed and then you change your capacity to 250 500 750 or 1 million liters it's going to take an enormous amount of time to unload thus if you have capacity of standard tipper body uh, discharge speed standard would be fine if you go with unrealistic one then you'd likely want to go with the discharge speed times two and thus unrealistic three and four three and four discharge speed would be your optimal choices chassis color again we have the frame and then tipper body color we can choose that like so or something contrasting like that wood stain color that's where your wood stain color comes in and we have to make something pink so let's do that and there we go rim color again of course whatever you like 
and license plate. So that's our tipper. Let's go grab our tipper. I've already filled it with a million liters as this is the million liter capacity one and <clears throat> once I was in here I did notice that there is no way to open the cover if you choose cover excuse me so yes you can't open the cover there is no there's there's no the, the the cover open cover configuration is taken up by the raise or lower the hitch option and that doesn't go away because we still have the raise or lower gooseneck coupler if you choose a gooseneck um, option so yes so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the cover option or try to right here all right so we have removed the cover now we can see what's in there so I would um, until it's updated I would recommend not not um, having a cover on there what other options well we have tip side back tip side back low grain door and tip side back so let's go through all those different configurations or try out each one of those real quickly here so let's uh, let's actually try the tip side grain door first because it is the slowest but it is yes it definitely is going to be the slowest and as you can see it is emptying quite quickly compared to other grain doors but yeah you get the idea right green door tip side back so that's going to be a really high tip let's go tip side back low and see what that does and how fast because i have it set to four times and even at that it's going to unload at mm, pretty slow um right let's try the high see if the high dump i don't think it's going to unload any differently side back oh actually I do I think it does empty out faster tip side back yes so if you have the high dump it will unload faster as you can see here that's not too bad I'm have and I do have it on four times the speed so nice um, and there you go that is your tipper configuration we have two more configurations to uh, look at right so the next we're going to look at is the enclosed trailer we have flat frame gooseneck frame for options uh, wheel brands are the same wheel setup wood type natural or sustainable I don't think I don't think you can change that actually um, but I did so again enclosed trailer body color we have stainless steel and jet black but we can back up and as you can see we have a huge amount of color options here left or right so you have to scroll through your color options which I find actually very annoying so unfortunately that's the only way you can choose a color on the enclosed trailer part chassis color is your normal way and wood stain color we're gonna make it um, pink but um, yeah it may or may not change the inside color we'll have to see that in the moment rim color again license plate etc etc and here we are L1 and X unfolds that door inside and I did change out the wood stain color on this one I believe but um, hold on yes so if you pick the stainable option you can stain it pink or whatever color you want actually and uh, yes so here we are we're gonna sh we're gonna throw this uh, little pickup truck in here to show you the size and uh, there we go so whoop, tight squeeze there when you get out but it fits and we have 
Do we have tension belts? No, we do not, but we can fold it up and it should stay securely in there. So that is your enclosed trailer. One more trailer configuration to go. So the last configuration we're going to look at is the livestock trailer, which is also available in gooseneck or flat frame. Tire options are the same. Uh, stainable wood. Uh, you can change that uh, color again. We can change the yellow. There we go. As you can see in there, it's yellow. Chassis color. We'll make that blue to say that. And the wheel uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, yes, livestock trailer body color. Again, you have to scroll through with your D-pad through the various colors if you want to pick a color, which I hope in an update they change that to going back to the way we change the color on the chassis and wood stain color. But anyways, those are your options. Uh, yes, rim color, license plate. So here we are with a livestock trailer uh, pretty much L1 and X unfolds those ramps so you can unfold them and you can use it as a um, has a just a, a, a container trail or not container a um, enclosed trailer if you want however uh, L1 R1 there we go R1 and L3 will determine what you can load in here. Right now, this is horses, cows. If we press it, we got pigs and sheep. Pigs and sheep. Uh, we went through how much the um, 64 pigs, 56 sheep. Chickens will hold 486 chickens. Horses and cows, 15 each. So that's how you configure your so we got cows. We're going to load cows in here and we're at actually at a animal dealer. So here we go. We're going to put in 15 cows. And that's how they look in there. We can fold that trailer back up. Other than that, there's some, um, yeah, lights, signals, same as everything else. We have a barn over here, so we're just going to unload them into our barn. Whoop. And we should be getting a trigger. Yes. Select. Move to husbandry. Yes. Okay. And there they are. The cows are in their home. And that wraps it up. That is... Uh, that is all of them i hope i didn't miss anything i tried to be very thorough yet not um long-winded i apologize if it did take some time however there's lots going on here this is a 40 foot lizard flatbed auto load bale trailer by mac trucker 921 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now